to entry in the NFT marketplace revolve around the fees. So that's the first barrier to entry. The second is the technical know-how. Because it's new, the platform itself is not that easy to understand. Creators and buyers have also run into issues with payments. The Nigerian regulations have not been very friendly to the crypto space. I see it being more hostile than a possibility of exploring innovation and having conversations that can open up the space. While NFT sales are mostly conducted via cryptocurrencies, in countries like Nigeria, high trading volume has been met with official rules and restrictions. Mm. Despite the challenges, those in the sector believe NFTs are going to become a way of life for artists. You cannot talk about art now without mentioning NFTs. So to become a part of the art scene as we know it, um, you see art fairs talking about NFTs, you see galleries talking about NFTs, you see collectors asking each other, do you have an NFT in your collection? And as long as the blockchain exists, that is going to keep happening. Up next, we go from creating digital art to one tech giant looking to construct Africa's digital ecosystem. That's next. Africa. Coronavirus. To get daily news updates in your inbox, sign up for the CNN newsletter. Coronavirus. Fact versus fiction. To understand Italy, you need to look at the food. I'm here to discover how it's the food of ordinary Romans that has conquered our hearts. That is delicious. Stanley Tucci searching for Italy. Sunday on CNN. The Dan Gote Group stands at the forefront of African enterprise. Since 1978, we've touched the lives of millions of people by meeting their basic needs. Our belief in the promise of Africa has taken us into 14 African countries with substantial investments that will propel the continent towards greater prosperity, promising jobs, improved standards of living and economic growth. Dan Gote, for an empowered Africa. in association with Dan Gote. Welcome back. With the rapid development of digital transformation happening across Africa, companies like Microsoft are looking to expand to help build the infrastructure. CNN's Zoho Vanier spoke to Microsoft's Nigeria country manager, Akin Banuso, to talk about the importance of upskilling locally and where digitization is headed next. Lack of connectivity is a very serious issue, and we actually think it almost qualifies as a, a basic human right in these days. Hello, my name is Akin Banuso. I'm the country general manager for Microsoft in Nigeria and Ghana. Can you tell us about Microsoft's activity in Nigeria? Microsoft has been in Nigeria for around about 20 years now. We work closely in partnership with our top tier customers in what we would call the commercial segment and also with the government. So in envisioning and figuring out what's next for their organizations in transforming their businesses, looking at how we can come up with innovative solutions together that would be unique to, to, to the needs and requirements of, of people in Nigeria. What's the piece of tech or the area that Microsoft is working on that's the most exciting for you? I would say AI. So in the, in the field of AI, mm. you will see Microsoft um, injecting AI into everything that we do. So when you do dictate a, a document in Word, AI can help you do the correction. AI can help you suggest, make suggestions. If you look at banking, we're injecting AI to help with sifting through massive amounts of, of data and then coming back with suggestions for professionals. And you see this in everything that we do. Microsoft has announced that it is committed to upskilling 5 million people in Nigeria alone. What is the company trying to achieve with that? We know that we are in the digital economy and there is massive un unemployment. So you have a lot of young people who actually have the talent. What they lack is the skill. So what we want to try and do working with the government is to bridge the gap. 
and at the same time point them towards the jobs that are in demand today and will be in demand tomorrow. So if you think about it, jobs like data scientists or mixed reality uh, solutions, there is a, a massive demand for, for such jobs across the world. <laughs> What are you most excited about, for instance, when it comes to the digitization of the African continent? There's so much to pick from. I would go with the simplest thing, digitizing government services. So today, you still have a lot of manual processes which the government are starting to think about. The typical citizen doesn't yet have a digital ID, doesn't yet have a means of accessing basic government services 